Little Fox Journey to the West Chapter 5 The Demon of Chaos What happened here? Wukong asked the gibbon. A few more monkeys and apes gathered around Sun Wukong and the gibbon. They looked scared. A demon attacked us, said the gibbon. We tried to fight him, but he was too powerful. He stole most of our things and kidnapped many of us. Wukong was furious. Who is he? Where does he live? He is called the Demon of Chaos, said the gibbon. He came from the north. Wait here, Wukong ordered. I will handle the demon. The demon is very powerful, the gibbon warned. I learned many things from a sage, Wukong replied. I am now as powerful as a god. I'm not afraid of any demon. I'll be back soon. He leaped into the air and flew north. His subjects stared in amazement. Our king can fly said the Gibbon. Wukong soon spotted a gloomy mountain. Dark clouds hung over it. That looks like a demon's home, he thought. Wukong landed on the mountain and found a cave. Two guards stood at the entrance, practicing sword fighting. I'm king of the fruit and flower mountain, yelled Wukong. The demon of chaos attacked my subjects. I want revenge. Ah! The guard shrieked and ran into the cave. The demon of chaos was sitting at a table, eating a meal. Disaster! One guard cried. What sort of disaster? Asked the demon. There's a monkey outside! Said the other guard. He said he's king of the fruit and flower mountain. You attacked his subjects! Now he wants revenge! The monkeys and apes are spoken of a king, said the demon. He left to find a sage. I guess he returned. The demon stood up. Does the monkey have any weapons? No, said one guard. Then get me my armor and my sword, said the demon. A moment later, the demon of chaos walked outside. <laughs> he looked at Wukong and laughed. You're just a little monkey, he said. Wukong looked up at the huge demon. I am small, he said. But I am more powerful than you can imagine. I'm not afraid of you, said the demon. He swung his sword. Wukong jumped out of the way and then flew at the demon. Wukong hit the demon on the nose. Ah! Cried the demon. Wukong pulled out a handful of his own hair and blew on it. Poof! Each strand of hair turned into a fake monkey, exactly like Wukong. All at once, the fake monkeys attacked the demon, punching and kicking him. What? What's going on? Cried the demon, trying to fight all the fake monkeys. It's a magic spell, said Wukong. It's called Body Beyond the Body. The demon of chaos was soon destroyed. Wukong chased away the guards and then went into the cave. He found all the monkeys and apes that the demon had kidnapped. When they saw him, they cheered. Your Majesty! cried the monkeys and apes. You, you came, came back! Wukong smiled. I will take you home. The next morning, Wukong woke up early. Other demons might attack us, he thought. We must be ready to protect ourselves. Wukong spent the day teaching his subjects how to fight. They practiced with swords and spears. Before long, the monkeys and apes were a fierce army. 
No demon will dare bother us now, said the Gibbon. No, said Wukong. There's just one problem, though. What's that? asked the Gibbon. I can't use any of the weapons we have, said Wukong. 